What's oh, good, YouTube? Jari Almighty here. Currently just laying down. Um, just want to say something quickly. Just thinking, um, I'm here by myself right now, and I'm just thinking about my current social standing in life, or kind of my social life currently, in my this present time in my life, you know. Um, I don't really got no friends. <laughs> I don't really got no friends, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's not a bad thing to me, and that doesn't make me sad at all. It's, uh, it's just interesting to really realize that fact. Um, and I think that's just something that comes with being, quote unquote, a chosen one. That's what people want to call it, but that just comes with living in your purpose, I feel, and and focusing on, on the path that is going to lead you to the success and the dream life that you desire in life. Um, I feel that there's a time in every successful person's life where they have to lock in and have straight tunnel vision to really and, and cut people off from their past to really hone in on the vision that they've been seeing in their mind to really manifest it and bring it into fruition. Because how can you manifest something? How can you bring something into fruition? How can you manifest this vision, but you still seeing the same stuff? You still doing the same stuff. You still hanging around the same people. How can you manifest this new reality, but you still living in this old world? You get what I'm saying? You have to create a new world to create the new world that you've been seeing in your mind so long. And how do you create a new world? You change your world. You change the people you hang around. You change your friends. You change your habits. You change your perspective. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's something that must be done to to really manifest, to be a master manifester, to be an alchemist, to transcend the mundane. I have no desire at all to remain at a level of mundanity. I don't even know that's a word. I don't have no desire at all to remain at a level of basic, never. I've never been basic. But I, but I had to admit I was doing basic shit. I, I, there came a point where I realized I'm doing basic shit. I'm I'm around basic people doing basic things like partying, substances, consuming. Uh, an excess of media and pleasure in different ways. That's basic stuff. That's the stuff that's going to get you stuck. The stuff that's going to leave you where you don't want to be. You get what I'm saying? Leaving you in that reality that you fear. You get what I'm saying? Stuff got to... You got to you got to get lonely. You got to get lonely. You have to be alone at times. That's not a bad thing. It's just so you can lock in. No distractions. You get what I'm saying. And people don't have the same vision as you. And I had to realize this. Like I have this vision, and I'm trying to keep these people around me. And I know they don't have this same vision as me. They don't have this same desire as me, this same passion as me, this same perspective as me. So why am I trying to keep this pe these people around? Knowing, subconsciously knowing it's going to keep my circumstances the same. It's because it's comfortable. It's familiar. It's, I, I, I don't, I didn't want to let go of everything that I had known up until that point. 
it, it was scary. You get what I'm saying? It was scary to change that. But I had to pick one. Pick, pick my battle. Would I rather pick the battle of remaining the same, living the same life as everyone else or majority people here falling into that trap, that cycle, you get what I'm saying? Or choose my battle of becoming, consciously become, making myself uncomfortable by, by consciously making decisions that I know is uncomfortable to me in order to grow, in order to change, in order to adapt. I'd rather choose that battle because doing that is going to lead me to that dream life that I see, that vision that I see. It's going to lead to that manifestation. It will put me right onto the path of that. So I, I, I had to had to be alone, bro. And I'm here now. Into the thick of it, face that. But I'm here now. And I'm just really realizing, like, because I've been in the hospital for the last month, bro. And folks have texted me here and there saying they prayed for me, this, this, that. But I just feel like I really know these folks ain't thinking about me at all. You know what I'm saying? Throughout their daily lives. Like, I'm here struggling physically, mentally, spiritually even. And I know folks it's it's shown throughout their actions that they don't care about me. You know what I'm saying? So why should I continue to care about them to the point where I keep them in my life knowing that it's going to hold me back? <laughs> that would be foolish of me. Never been a fool. Don't play me like one. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to play myself like one either. It's time to start acting like the intelligent man that I am. Always been. And it's time to get with the plan so I can manifest what I've seen in my head since I've been a little man. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to be alone. Sometimes it's time for solitude. You got to change. You got to change things. And it's going to be scary. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be weird. Because you're going to see these people again. And they're going to try to act like... They're going to try to act like you changed. And you did change because you had to change. You didn't change your character. You didn't change your heart. You didn't change, you know what I'm saying, the love you had for these people. But you had to change... You had to change something. Because you ain't changed something. You was going to be right with them. And you don't want to be right with them. Because you desire more in life. You desire higher things. You're focused on higher things. You perceive things in a higher way. You see, like, you on a higher level. That just is what it is. When you're on a higher level, you got to make higher decisions, higher executive decisions. Got to be alone. Got to be alone. That's my message today. Hope y'all, you know what I'm saying, taking care of y'all selves and focused on the things that is going to bring you joy in life, true joy. You know what I'm saying? Not temporary satisfaction and dopamine or pleasure. Things that's going to bring you true serenity, peace, abundance, love in this life. Hope you focused on your purpose and your path and focused on how you're going to make an impact with the time that you have on this planet because it's much needed. Till next time, <laughs> stay up, most definitely. Because I know I will. Yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski. Hey, but. <laughs>